Hi, welcome back to another episode of DTF Garage. My name is Brad, and today we are gonna be working on my 2020 Escape. A uh, very nice vehicle, but there are definitely some things I wanted to improve on that I didn't like about this car. Not that they were bad, I'm just bougie, according to my fiance. So. Today, we're gonna be swapping out the base instrument cluster that comes in the Escape for an instrument cluster from a Bronco Sport. In the Bronco Sport, you could get the base gauges or what they call mid-tier gauges, um, which are a little bit nicer, but not the full 12 inch screen. And I honestly like these more than the full 12 inch screen. It gives you a bigger screen display in the middle, but it still has your mechanical speedometer and tachometer gauges. And I'm a mechanical guy, so I really like the mechanical speedometer and tachometer of these gauges. It gives you a nice higher end without being that full 12 inch screen. And it doesn't have that base, just flat screen that they uh, come with standard. The install is pretty easy, so follow along and I'll show you how to do it. You may have to go through and change some things with Forescan. It's not necessarily a direct plug-in play. So if you don't have access to Forescan or know how to use Forescan, I probably would stay away from actually doing this swap, um, as there are definitely some things that you'll need to go through and change to make sure that everything is working correctly. So the first thing you're going to need to do is pop off this little cover that's behind your display panel here. The easiest way I found is to kind of get underneath it on the side and pop the side up with the screwdriver. And then once you've got that up, you can take your trim tool and the, this dash is very soft and kind of pliable. So you can kind of get the tool back in there. You don't want to mess up the dash too much, but once you get it in there, you can pop it out and there's two clips that hold it, that hold it in. So for me, it was easiest to pop, pop this side up first and then kind of wiggle your way in and get that piece out. Now that that piece is out, you're gonna need a seven millimeter socket and you're gonna undo the three bolts that hold the display panel in. going to want to make sure that the instrument cluster you swap out has lower mileage if you can't find one with the same mileage you know maybe that's only two three hundred miles off you can go in through Forescan and adjust the mileage with that program but you can only go up so if you get oops so if you've only got 20,000 miles on your vehicle and you buy an instrument cluster that has 40,000 you're probably gonna have to send it into a repair shop to have that manually adjusted. Since my car has 22,000 miles on it and the Bronco Sport cluster that I'm putting in only has 5,000 miles. So I can use the Forescan program and go in and adjust that mileage up. I already took a picture of my instrument cluster so I know what the mileage is currently at. So once you've got those bolts out, then you can go ahead and gently pull up on the display panel here. unclip the wire from the back and set that aside so that does not get damaged. Then you've got two screws right here. Then you'll want to take your trim removal tool again pop that out from that side. And this is a very long, very thin piece of plastic, so be very careful to not snap it in half because I really don't want to have to buy a new one, especially down here at the end. There we go. Oh, no, one more. Oh, okay.
the bottom two screws that uh, were on the instrument cluster held in the instrument cluster and the overlay. So all you have left are these two screws on the top here. Pull your cluster out. It just has this one connector on the back that plugs in right in the middle there. We can go put the new cluster in. Now on the new cluster, the plug is over off to a side, not in the middle. But that's okay because these are still compatible. So we're just going to go ahead and plug that in. Ooh, very cool. Then we're just going to do the reverse, put everything back in the way order we took it off, and we should be good to go. So I got the gauges in and they look and work absolutely great. A couple small issues that I'm going to have to go through and adjust with Forescan. Uh, my cruise control is not working, so I'm going to have to go through and figure out what's going on with that. But aside from that, I'm not getting any error messages, I'm not getting airbag lights, I'm not getting check engine lights. Um, like fuel and RPMs and speed and everything is, is working correctly, so that works awesome. Now I do still need to go through and change my mileage. This cluster is still showing 1600 miles on it. RIP Bronco Sport that didn't even make it to 2000 miles before it got wrecked. Uh, but my Escape has about 22,000 miles on it. So I still need to go through and adjust that. But for some reason, Forescan isn't letting me do that right now, but uh, I can, I'll hopefully figure that out. You can change the mileage with for scan if you can get it to work. I'm having issues with mine right now, so don't take that for my word. Uh, however, you can only go up in mileage. You cannot lower the mileage of a cluster. It makes sense. Obviously, people would be screwing with their stuff, and that's a huge federal no-no. But do remember that your vehicle, that these newer vehicles also send your mileage data to Ford, uh, which Ford stores in their database, so you might want to make, it, make sure you get that corrected. <laughs> Aside from that, I absolutely love these gauges. I think they give a awesome touch to the vehicle. It just brings it up, makes it look a little bit nicer. If you guys have any questions, I will help the best I can. I'm very new to Forescan. I know the basics on how to use it, but I'm still kind of trying to pick up on things. So yeah, feel free to ask me any questions you guys might have. I don't know if I'll be able to answer them, but I will definitely try my best. One quick update before I do let you guys go here. I was able to figure out the issue I was having with Forescan and not letting me uh, correct the cruise control or update the mileage. It kept on giving me an error message and it would stop halfway through. Before I swapped out the instrument clusters, I went in through Forescan and I backed up all the modules so I would have that original data in case I did end up messing something up. Plus I had to transfer that original data over to the new Bronco Sport cluster. The issue I was having was that after I got the Bronco Sport gauges installed and you pull up Forescan and it asks you, do you want to load this previous vehicle that you worked on? I selected yes, because I had worked on the vehicle before. When you do that and it asks you if you want to load a previous vehicle, you need to select no, because it has that new module uh, and it needs to pull that new number so it can con uh, connect and communicate with that module. If you try to go off of the old data you have stored inside Forescan with the old mo with the old instrument cluster module, it's going to be trying to com communicate with a module that it does not exist in that vehicle. So when you go in, you need to select yes, create a new profile, and you can rename it. The first one I had named uh, Ford Escape slash Kuga. The second one I had named Ford Escape slash Bronco Sport. That way I knew that I was working with the information with the Bronco Sport anytime I went in the future and tried to uh, make those adjustments like uh, fixing the control, uh, cruise control, adding intelligent cruise control, adding the speed limit signs to the instrument cluster gauge, stuff like that. So just remember when you go in after you've put a new module in to create a new profile for that vehicle. As soon as I did that, everything worked flawlessly. I didn't have a single issue with Forescan. Well, that's all from us here at DTF Garage today. Make sure to check us out on TikTok, DTF Garage, at Instagram, DTF Garage, on Facebook at DTF Garage. Check out our store, DTF Garage. Dot com for vinyl and shirts and cool stuff. Not this shirt, ignore that. Once again, my name is Brad, and as always, stay boosted.
Oh, why is that zoomed in? Now, I do still need to go through and change my mileage. <coughs> Jesus. Today, we are working on my 2020 Escape. And apparently, that confuses me. Some, some reason. Okay. 